Behold the power of the mind. You see, with just simple concentration and realizing that all in the universe is one, and I can, with that knowledge, create a symbiotic relationship with this little piece of tinfoil under a bowl and move it with the power of my mind. Telekinesis. You don't believe that axe heads can float, donkeys and snakes can talk, or that God can create the world in six literal days, but you believe this. What the hell are you talking about? Really? I can't get with that. I gotta keep it. Th See, this is a very simple experiment. All I did was put this plate in a uh, in a microwave oven for a minute. I put this bowl in a freezer for a minute, and the air current inside of there creates that little piece of tin foil to move. And I didn't even take a whole lot of care to make sure that thing was balanced well. Shut up and get to the point! Atheists like to mock Christians for believing in things like a special six-day creation, for believing in talking donkeys, floating axe heads, snakes, the world flooding, and that the, the planet is only a, a less than 10,000 years old. Sir, if I might interject, that sounds positively ridiculous. But yet you'll believe this. <laughs> what? I can't get with that. I gotta keep it thick, never miss, so I hit him like this. I can't get with that. I gotta keep it thick, never miss, so I hit him like this. Let's talk a little bit about simulation theory. There's atheists out there, and a growing, increasing number of atheists who believe that we are part of a computer simulation. Say what? Really? Really? That's what you believe. Okay. So that just begs the question, who made the computer? And who made the people who made the computer? No! I can't get with that. I gotta keep it thick, never miss, so I hit him like this. Now, there's another segment of atheists out there who believe in something called panspermia. And panspermia is the belief that aliens came to this planet billions and billions of years ago from uh, galaxies far, far away and seeded life here, just scattered all the ingredients for life on this planet and just left it to, by random processes of chance, come to where we are today. I can't get with that. I gotta keep it thick, never miss, so I hit them like... But Christ rising from the dead is somehow impossible, but you'll believe that. <sighs> and they'll believe things like panspermia. They'll believe things like simulation theory. And they'll believe things like telekinesis. challenge to my telekinetic friends. If it's real, call James Randi and collect that million dollar check. Last I checked, he's been carrying that check around for about 30 or 35 years or so. So, 
I just want to reason with people. Shut the fuck up! Those of you who believe in panspermia, those of you who believe in evolution, those of you who believe in telekinesis, those of you who believe in simulation theory, have you given thought to the consequences, just the logical consequences? Stupid! You're so stupid! I can't give with that. I gotta keep it thick, never miss, so I hit him like this. I can't give with that. I mean, have you listened to the voices in your head and what they're telling you? <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Or what makes more sense? That. God, the creator of all the universe, who created everything and holds it all in the palm of his hand, would want to communicate with us. Everyone, please, bow your heads and pretend to be serious. Do it or I'll bow them for you. That he would send his son to die for our sins. I, oh, I don't know what you're saying. It all sounds so crazy to me. That he would live the perfect life that you and I have never been able to live, that he would die the death that you and I deserve. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. That he would raise again on the third day, forever defeating sin and death. It never ends, this shit. Proving himself to be God, showing himself to 500 plus people. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard, you imbecile. And you want to believe this as your alternative. Wrong, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. My friends, that is why you are without excuse on Judgment Day. Because professing to be wise, you've become fools. And you suppress the truth that you intuitively know about God in your unrighteousness. So that when you stand without before God, you are without excuse. Nigga, please! So you can do one of two things the way I see it. You can have the... Just live it up now, because this is as good as it's going to get for you. Because when you stand before God, if you die in your current state, you are going to get the just reward for this, which is eternity in hell. I gotta keep it thick, never miss, so I hit him like this. Or you can repent of your sin. Submit yourself to the God you know exists, and trust in Jesus Christ as your Savior. Oh, yeah, no. You know what? No.